Hey TikTok, okay, so this is very important that you share this video and um, I will be getting bits and pieces out as I just go along and continue my docu, my documenting this experience. Um, back in 2017, my mother had passed away. She was diagnosed with cancer in 2016. She was trying to, you know, get her ducks in a row and get her um, prognosis for what kind, right? And so we didn't get that far. I feel like we could have, but there are um, some staggering events that have come into play in from my mother telling me and from the time that she passed and I was next to her during the passing with some other family members. I have my own personal history and my personal background as I'm almost a 40 year old woman so of course I do most of us I believe in the ripe earth that we're sitting in of age now I'm sure you know we all have our pieces of us that whether we want to keep as skeletons hidden in the closet or share out and blurt out into this cloud of TikTok or Instagram, Facebook, whatever it, it may be. Um, I am in very high ways grateful for this technology. Even if it were just the camera setting, at least we get to make videos and we could rewatch it all the time ourselves or share it with those around us, but this is different because this connects worldwide and the high wire to this cable and the authenticity to it, well, that has to then come with discernment, right? Because anything now can be taken and put into a deep fake. So I wanna just give you a little outskirts of what it is happening with me. It would be really nice if y'all did go to share this. I have um, a link that I will put in that you can go to because this has been in its conspiring stages for like two years and coming into the housing project of whatever homeless includes when you are homeless and homeless like you don't even have a couch to go to to sleep on and nor do you really want to invade so you just set up how you feel best fit in your survival for whatever uh, resources that you can obtain in, you know, your position. Now, homelessness also is an account for, I guess, not being an owner, a homeowner. And in the society's eyes, I'm guessing that depletes your status of ethnic or value. So 2017, I kind of started this process and with my mother leaving the place that she was at, having to move during her sickness into another place, my family kind of being in the wraps of the real estate, but me being estranged from my mom's sisters and my aunties and stuff, but they kind of always having a pool and a big pool in the background of strings um, that they can puppeteer, I guess, because of, you know, the hereditary lineage that's military connected. And so that goes far down. I, I recently had learned that my great grandfather times five, um, he was the 27th president of the United States and I just thought that that was really cool. I was very humbled to have learned that. I was very excited. It um, it shot a confidence through me that really put a, a 
a pep in my step, I should say, I guess, um, to give me that excitement, that inspiration even more. Like this is already in me to do this kind of thing. And so in 2022, I um, declared uh, a declaration of candidacy into the D.C. Board of Election to campaign for the D.C. mayor position. Now, let me just rewind a little bit because in 2017, I had and was already applying myself through these programs of housing and stuff through the Department of Human Services or is it Health Services? I don't know. But what is being done right now and calculated is a treasonous act to rise against me in order to have me hemmed up, put away, locked up, and it be on behalf of this 501B Act that Mayor Bowser has since started in 2020, and she was beginning her mayoral ship, I believe, in 2012, so therefore 2020, she would have been, you know, eight years in, and but 2020 was that COVID-19 COVID COVID sickness and stuff, and so 501B in this rules sector of how DC enacts in their community uh, ship of municipality and not so much as a law because a Congress does not represent any DC residents and you can look this up, they do not. The mayor doesn't even sit in the Congress and nor does the mayor even care in my eyes about the DC residents because how could she at this time and then how could even a mayor deputize a mayor out? I'm starting to talk fast because I'm, I'm realizing I have a seven minutes in. And anyways, I say all of this because since I declared my candidacy and since I have been housed but going through four years while outside in a tent in vinyl, but being moved every 30 days with a sign in the homeless face that the city is coming to clean out your spot and that your spot must be prepared for them, to which you, homeless, have to have your tent breaking down, everything taken up out of it. You have to move it 200 feet down the sidewalk. So that they can come and they can spray, they can wash, they can put trash or whatever. The city, which is, consists of like community people, outreach people, uh, the MPD departments, the um, you know the housing uh, sectors of whatever, the garbage man, and sometimes they'll bring in uh, bulldozers and like big old dump trucks and stuff. Okay. So every 30 days, basically, it's an interruption to have to move off of public land to what we're set up in or what I personally am set up in to already waiting in the process for the housing. So here comes the housing outreach people to not just formulate their forms and applications to me once again while still outside waiting for the housing, but, you know, to come through and to also tell us that we have to move and break down our things and to move them 200 feet down, God forbid they'd be seen you know, with us around and then to tell us that we can come right back to the same spot that they just cleared out. But then it's the citizens that are around that are calling the mayor's office to say that there's homeless outside and to do something about it to what she entertains by using the resources to come clean us out every 30 days. And then when you get the housing as such I have, right, since then, but then beforehand I'm asking all the other house uh, homeless, like, why are you back outside? How are you back outside? You was just housed. What happened? And they're like, well, I got evicted. And I'm like, what do you mean you got evicted? Like, what city is going to appropriate funds to organizations that are even part of Department of DHS or whatever it might be, Housing Authority, to evict you? You was homeless. They just made you homeless again? Yeah, well, they did. Now I have to go through it again. What do you mean you have to go through it again? Like, this is the problem that we're not understanding with subsidy and how subsidy works. And this is what they, right now, with colluding with the MPD Department of DC and all, are trying to literally make a packet against me to like deem me incompetent, that I have a sickness. And because I talk in a demeanor sometimes that I'm kind of just like submitting to the authority, they have rained this packet up on me since being housed into their system of housing to then depose of me, evict me, do the same thing that I'm witnessing is being done out there and to try to take over the unit while concierge and the management of the premises is uh, ordering equipment to install for me and upon my eviction. So come March, we're back at it again. Like, this is crazy, you guys. I have to tell you more.